little brother to brother action to knock the game up at 10. It's a big face off here. And Lemoyne comes away with it. Mattia to Fogo. Gets the available ball. Now he puts it on the deck. And St. Anselm scoops it up. That's Jonathan Holland, the defender. Yeah, no one on Lemoyne made themselves available to help Mattia out after he picked up the ground ball. There was just blue jerseys around him. You'd think he's got to run to safety, though. I mean, he's continuing to move his way to the left end where all the blue jerseys are. You would think he might want to retreat and get it back to his defense. And an offsides infraction against St. Anselm. Michael Schiamana, the St. Anselm head coach, is not happy. Fast break chance for the Dolphins, and they had a wide open man. Collins did. That was Sheehan who made a dash towards Cage, but instead Collins ripped one and missed it all. I, I'm not I'm not the worst. I don't think that's the worst idea from Collins either. He had his hands free. Defender was coming away. And for a goal scorer like him, he's going to take that shot. Five shots today for Collins, just one goal to show for it. Seven and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Lemoyne and St. Anselm, even at 10, duking it out for a spot in the NE 10 championship game. Second line middies in the game. Preston Taylor in there as well for the Dolphins, 81 and white. He's replacing Andrews. That's been happening all day, that little substitution. Nice move around Cage by Kelly, but he missed it a little bit too high. Chased down by Lambert on the far side. 30 seconds on the shot clock. Lambert inverting the offense. Up at the point, open man, Bergen scores! John Bergen with a long range bomb and Lemoyne's back on top with seven to go in the fourth. And there's a reason why John Bergen's on the man up unit for a step down shots from range just like that. That's his specialty, the lefty bomb from distance gives Lemoyne the lead once again. 14th goal of the season for the true freshman attacker. And the Dolphins reclaim the lead after St. Anselm fought back in. And for Carter Collins, his second assist of the contest, 18th of the season. And with that, his 50th point of the season. Something to keep track of. We've Ever since Sam Carey took the initial faceoffs, it's all been Nico Mattia. And I don't think that's just because Mattia has the hot hand. He does, but... I wonder if there is something wrong with Sam Curry, a reason why we haven't seen him the rest of this game. Yeah, we haven't seen him at all since the first quarter, but right now LeMoyne having the advantage there, 17-8 to eight over A.J. Caprio. We haven't seen anybody else take face offs for St. Anselm in this game. Here's Colin Sipek, graduate, or senior rather, someone who graduated from American Heritage High School down in Florida as Pierce rips a shot. Now, if you're a big fan of football recruiting, you and I were talking about this a little bit oh, at yeah. halftime, American Heritage is a football powerhouse. Oh, yeah. Here are some of the names that have come out of that school. Tyson Campbell, Packers cornerback. Khalil Herbert, Bears running back. Sony Michelle, Rams running back. Pat Sertan, the Broncos corner. Unbelievable. But then you got a guy like Sipak who comes out of a prolific high school football recruiting powerhouse and that is now a big-time lacrosse player at the D2 ranks for LeMoyne. Here he is, feeding in front. Andrews, turnaround shot, finds Twine. He's been in and out all game. But he gets LeMoyne a big-time goal midway through the fourth. Oh, good, good, good shot on the question mark goal there. And you, it felt like St. Anselm was a little bit scared of the step-down shot from Sipek since he was all alone up top. And that freed up Andrews to have a beautiful shot on goal. Are there any hats flying? I don't see any. Hat trick for Devin Andrews, second LeMoyne player with three goals in this game. And for Sipek, his second assist, he has three points in this game. The first line middies produce again, and it's a two-goal lead for LeMoyne with under six to go in the final quarter. Mattia wins the draw momentarily. St. Anselm gets the ground ball, and a holding called against LeMoyne. The Hawks get possession. You know what I've, I've been noticing is slightly throughout this game? Sipek has been on the wings for some of these face-offs. You know where you don't see an offensive midi on the wings? Well, in I think get, in order to get the face off. I think they're so confident they'll win because they've won 18 of the 26 yeah. <laughs> that they just would rather have that offensive player in the field already to potentially either score in the fast break or just set up the offense quickly. So that's an interesting wrinkle. We didn't see that in the first half. So Kevin Sheehan working wonders again. San Anselm needs a goal. There it is. Noah Larson cooks his defender 
and beats Frank Delia high to high. And we've seen this all game long for St. Anselm, the invert, taking the short stick defensive midfielder all the way behind Cage. And this time it's Noah Larson taking Braden Elmer all the way back and just beats him for pace back to the cage. Two and goals for Noah Larson, two goals for Nick Larson. And you can see Delia pounding the cage with his stick. He knows he should have made that save. Maybe, but his defense kind of left him out to dry too. But for Dewey, he holds himself up to a higher standard. He knows that those are saves that he should be making. As the four-time conference goalie of the week, uh, no surprise there. Now a one-goal game, back and forth. Expected a close one coming in, and it's lived up to the billing. Lemoyne 12, St. Anselm 11, under five to go in the fourth quarter. Uh, I don't think we expected this much offense. But no, hey, we I'm did not. not. I'm, I'm not complaining. 7-5 in the last matchup back in March, Lemoyne winning. 9-4 last year in the NE10 Conference Championship game. Ben McCreary dodging, feeds it off to Sipek. He had an assist on that last goal to Devin Andrews, who has it now. He thought about it. 40 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Zach Pierce. He's got three goals today, one of two LeMoyne players with a hat trick. And now it's with Sipek. He'll invert the offense with now 30 if seconds. Si now if you're Sipek, get a shot. St. Anselm smartly switches as yeah. Bonavita with a nice poke check to put it on the turf momentarily. Here's Carter Collins. Oh, he's checked. Ryan Slattery with a cause turnover. This is the matchup you want to see, Collins versus Slattery. Lemoyne keeps it. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Pierce penetrating. Works his way inside. Gets his hands free and scores. Four goals for Zach Pierce and a two-goal lead for Lemoyne with four minutes to go. Oh, that is nuts. He do dips, dodges, and dives all across a couple of long sticks. And the dodging of Zach Pierce has given him some excellent looks at Cage. He probably should have six goals with the way he's been dodging today. But that gives him his fourth. And the dodging from Zach Pierce has just been excellent and on point and just a good display there from the OCC transfer. All he had against Adelphi was one assist. Coming into this game, five points in his last four games. He's got six points in this game alone. And is single-handedly vaulting Lemoyne to potentially another spot in the NE10 championship game. Long pass ahead from Delia. Successfully completed to Kelly. And Lemoyne will work a little bit of this clock here, you would think, with a fresh 60 on the shot clock. Especially second the, line middies in the yeah, game. Especially with the second line middies here. Not as much firepower from them. So hey, don't sleep on that second line. Yeah. <laughs> especially with the guy with the ball right now. John Bergen with it. Had a score from 20 yards away the last time he was on the field. Andrews inside for Lambert. Bounced in! Are you kidding me? How did that get through? How did that go in? Devin Andrews awarded with the score, his fourth goal of the game, and everything is going the way of the Dolphins with three minutes left in the fourth. 